Hey! Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough! Look at this place, I bet it's packed with traps! You better be extra careful here, Link! She's not kidding, there's a lot of traps in this place. Bombs by time! And he who chooses the hidden path over the long road will cross in time. We have two side paths to go through here in order to unlock the door to... Well, I should say unlock the staircase over to there, but uh... It's pretty difficult to make it to those bridges without doing some special setups ahead of time, so let's get some things set up, shall we? Like, I'm gonna do the right one first, and thus it would be best to find the aforementioned hidden path that said right... S bleh, wrong one, Xbox D-pad, dang you. <laughs> said, that said right sign would hint at, and you can even get bombs there. Look out! Yeah, I know, that's there. <laughs> so there's this whole path over here and whatnot that uh, sort of tempts you to make you think that you can possibly reach the bridge in time, but not really. I'm, whoop, I forgot about that one. Well, <laughs> well, I mean, I guess maybe you can if you uh, have a bomb chew or something to kind of wiggle it around here and then have it hit the have it hit the crystal at the last minute or something like that. But uh, I, I just find it easier to open up the path Hit with the sword, and there we go. Oh! Did I just... Uh, hmm. <laughs> well then, uh, well, there's good thing that this is here, yeah. Because <laughs> that's supposed to stay up when I make it to the other side, and it didn't because I uh, finished a little bit late there, and I just barely made it. So... <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for thinking that through, game. Uh-oh, Staffels. Uh-oh, Staffels. Uh-oh, Staffels. Uh, you! <laughs> it's so hard to time your attacks, so I just end up mashing my taps to attack them. <clears throat> so here's one of two. And all we gotta do is hit the switch. And that's all. <laughs> We just go back the other way now and uh, do the other one, which is much, much more difficult than this one here. You'll see what I mean when I get into it. Yo, and thus, see, you gotta kind of watch these platforms. And when this one is about, like, say, maybe here, hit that left switch, or I should say, throw that, uh, throw a bomb by the left switch. And then things should be timed in an ideal fashion. Look out for that one. See, so you gotta get over to this platform while it's timed right, and that's how I like to time it. Because, yeah, it's... It, if, if you don't do it that way, there's a lot of waiting, and then you don't make it to said door. I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, said bridge, excuse me, to open said door for the future. And, you know, I kind of feel like if I don't get that door... I'm, Door. Why do I keep calling bridges a door? This is the windmill lighthouse all over again of Super Mario Sunshine. But yeah, I feel like if I didn't get this back up and running, I wouldn't feel complete. <laughs> I mean, all you have to do is hit the switch and get it back there, and yeah, don't even have to do the rigmarole again. So yeah, I don't even have to do this again. And anyway, hitting this switch. Oh no, another trap crap! <laughs> Yeah, we've seen this coming. But yeah, hitting this other switch here will open the path forward, and then you can call this floor pretty much done, because that middle section is just like a transition point of sorts between places, and yeah. So... Whoop, there we go. Getting those arrows right back that I've been shooting at like-likes all day long, and going down the stairs to another floor. Oh, man, that's a lot. There's a Staffos Warrior, and uh, you can take care of them, hopefully, just as easily as you take care of them. Uh, the regular Staffos, I guess you could say, by just mashing your tapping on them, but not a guaranteed thing, because, well, they get uh, kind of a tacky aggressive -y, we'll just say that, so... Uh-oh, uh -oh. Uh -oh. uh oh Okay, I managed to get it. <laughs> what they do is they swing their sword wildly at you, and yeah, it's, it's sort of like the Yooks, in a way, their attacks. And anyway, as you can tell with that floor, there's a lot to do on that floor, and here are terror pins, which we cannot do anything about. And nowhere can we do anything about that rusty switch, so let's just go, oh, no. Oh no. I wonder if I should have my arrows out just in case. Because I think I can bait a couple of these out into uh, being on the other side of 
Yeah, the barricades, and I can just hit him from this side nice and safe. <laughs> That's another way of dealing with them if you should have barricades, but, uh, well, that's not exactly something that you have all the time to deal with them. Just saying. <laughs> uh, safe, 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 okay. Oh, you're not safe, though. I know you're safe because I passed by you on the other side. Come on down this way. You know what? I'm getting impatience. You're too slow. I'm ready to go. <laughs> and here's a point of no return. There was one of these things earlier. I wonder what it is. I think I saw one in the Temple of the Ocean King, too. Looks like a switch, but it's rusty and probably won't budge if you stand on it. Nope. So we gotta get something else. Uh, oh crap, it's a trap! Oh no! We already hinted at something at that corner there. Uh, 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 what could be at that corner? What could be at that corner? Could it be? Could it be? Yeah, it's a like like. <laughs> oh, oh shoot, I let myself get sucked in there. No! I should've just kept pulling away! Yeah! Aha! Use my invincibility frames to my advantage! And already... We've got the dungeon items! <laughs> I'm serious! It was that quick! <laughs> it is the hammer! Woo! Tap something to hit it! Tap and hold to build up huge hammering power! So, we're gonna get our bad boy out here and show you what that's like! Ah! <laughs> and yeah, you can tap pretty much anything on the screen and you will be able to hammer it. As broken as that may sound, you're actually pretty vulnerable when you're hammering stuff, so uh, don't get too cocky with the hammer. <laughs> it's a pretty powerful item though, and versatile too, as it can kill those staffles in one hit. So you will be quite pleased with its usefulness. Touch the footprint, slam the pillar. Hmm, hmm, hmm. What could possibly happen? Whoop! Woo Woo and oh, wait a second. Can I hit you from down here? No. Yeah, you can't hit them from uh, a lower level. You got to be on the same level in order to hit stuff. And I am mistapping all over the place. And don't land. Ah, let us say, don't land on the terrapin. So now, yeah, now you can flip them over with your shock waves or the hammers. And yeah, you can also smash them with the hammers as well. <laughs> Like, after you flip them, boing, no treasure chests on this floor, okay, good, good, oh shoot, I didn't mean to hit you again, and, <laughs> whee, alright, so now I can tap this, and, oh, wait, 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 hold on, this is back, to, back to the start, yeah, yep, whoop, and careful so that they don't charge at you, because they have this attack where they go after you like that. Yeah, and that can get in the way of your hammering, so don't let them see you if you can. Happenies! <laughs> oh, oh, mm. Moving on. <laughs> and now... We got a boulder. And now, we've got another boulder. Guess what we do? If you guessed, push the boulders together for a kiss! Yes. Pro! <laughs> it's a trap. Now watch us, watch us. Ah! Ah! Whoa. Oh! Oh, that's their special attack. Of the Staff also worry. <laughs> that I was talking about earlier. But yeah, you can hammer them and kill them off in one hit. Pretty dang handy. Woo! <laughs> Alrighty. Going down. Once again, two, basement two, and hit those, this moves away from you always, so you don't have to worry about it running into you, and I don't think there's anything for me to get in that corner there, so I'll just wait for the platform and get ready to hammer like crazy. You can hammer that ahead of time, you can hammer this ahead of time, but you gotta hammer the staff almost more than anything, because they'll be throwing bones at you, and they, they, don't, they don't play nice. <laughs> uh, okay, we're good. Oh, wait, wait, we're not good, we're not good! Oh! Oh, I got too close to the edge, dang it! Uh, oh shoot, I missed a switch somewhere, where- oh, this one, whoopsie! Whoopsie, whoopsie, and that should move that spiky thing. Well, it might be bounced back by the time we get there, but- Oh, wait, wait, I forgot that switch too, dang it, my eyes are just deceiving me today! <laughs> There is this, which contains a key, which we know where to use that on. 
And there's over here something for our collector's sideball. Ah, oh, courage gem. Heck yeah. And that's, I believe, the only thing that you can really miss. I mean, that you can't really miss out on in this temple, if I recall correctly. And hitting this switch will give us a shortcut. Woohoo! Shortcuts, good. Shortcuts lead back to key door. Key door opens with mysterious floating pyramid thing. What is mysterious pyramid floating thing? Well, it is. Oh no, we got the water temple all over again. No, it's actually not that bad. It's pretty linear overall. <laughs> I just said, anytime people see water in Zelda games now, after the water temple, they just panic. <laughs> the path will open when mighty attacks change the color of the tiles. Boop. <laughs> um, that actually might not be as simple as I made it seem there. I mean, yeah, it was simple because I know what these things do, but what they do is, yeah, it's this sort of puzzle where when you hit one, the... Uh, the shockwave hits the ones around them, including if you hit it outside the frame of it. So, yeah, um, I just hit in the center to flip them over, and victory was mine. But otherwise, if you hit the corners and stuff like that, you're gonna have to flip them uh, in order or whatnot that, you know, that, that best suits you, I guess you could say. But we'll, we'll come down to those sorts of puzzles in a more complex way later on. But for now, let's hit this from a distance up there. And fill up the water. Yeah, the hint to that is seeing that ahead of time and the arrows there to shoot across the room. Um, hammer time. Now we gotta turn these all to circles. Now here's another little trick you can do. Stand in the center, stand on a panel that you don't want to flip and then just hit the panel that you, the, yeah, that you want to flip around it and you can keep that panel in place and voila, just like that. Puzzle solved, but otherwise you have to turn them manually quite a few times, and that's not. Oops, that is not super friendly. Uh, hold on, isn't there something? Uh, what am I missing here? What did I forget? What is? Oh wait, wait, I got hit the water on the other side. Whoopsie doodle. Yeah, I gotta hit this while I'm up here because those bones float back down. And yeah, that that would otherwise, you know, leave me stranded back there. But since I'm already up here, it doesn't matter, and I could just continue on this away. And um, 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 I don't remember if I want to go down the stairs or up that. I think the up that pathway is a, a sh oh yeah, up that pathway is a shortcut back up because it goes like. Uh, see if you if you can up end up stranded here, you can go like this, and you go back up here, and yeah, that's basically how it works. But anyway, down this way is where I'm going, and now this is where the hammering puzzles gets a little more complicated. We got to turn them all the circles like before, but uh, they're in odd formation. There are no treasure chests on this floor. Great, that's very nice. <laughs> Uh, as you can tell, there's something over there we gotta get to a little bit later on. But let's see what we can do about our circular problem here. I'm gonna smash that thusly. Smash that thusly. So, whoops, I didn't mean to hit there. I went to hit there and hit there. There we go. Gotta think in terms of hit turning over as many as possible and kind of flipping them off from the edges. I mean, from the center to the edges, basically. And hmm, what do we have here? Uh, open the path, create the true form here. Um, 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 um. I think I gotta memorize that if I'm if I recall correctly. So I'm gonna go and uh, not actually memorize it. I'll go uh, something like circle, 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 circle x x x. X tic tac toe. <laughs> so yeah, um, those are. Wait, did I hit this? I think I did hit this. Um, number of chests left here is three. So I'm gonna write down three. That was a terrible three as usual. No, thank you. I will look for them myself. All right, so we're done here. Um, 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 um. Gonna go up here. Tap that. 
And whoops, whoops, whoops. We are going to shoot. I couldn't find my bow. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta hit that. Oh, it's facing the wrong way. That's right. Whoops, I gotta change with that. And now I use my bow. There we go. You remember those things. I just should have paid, should have paid attention to the direction that they were facing. Woo! And there we go. Now, uh, since I put down the water there, we can't really see unless I shoot an arrow there, but I'm gonna save my arrows because I have it written down on the top screen. So, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna flip this, I guess, to start. And flip these two. Then flip... These two. And flip these two and this one. Victory is mine! <laughs> Uh, and red and blue when they are aligned in their truth form, the path will open. Oh, you know what? I need to bring the water back down again to reach that door anyway, so... Well, I guess I didn't need to write it down after all. I could have just went back and forth between that and that to see. Because, yeah, you can actually push against the wall to give yourself a little better view there. So, yeah. Uh, anyway. Now, um, 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 wait a second. Am I... Where... I am... So lost. Oh wait, here we go. There we go. <laughs> I forgot that somehow. Ah! Oh, no, 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 you don't. No, you don't. I will smash your bones and make my bread. Uh, treasure chests. That makes two left on the floor, so I can erase. Yeah. Two. There we go. And wait a second. I can push this over. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Uh, but we got ourselves a hammer puzzle. This is a shortcut back, by the way. Um, we don't want that. Just don't drop down there. Otherwise, you're going to have to do quite a big rigmarole. And hit this. Uh, hit. I Link. Please, please. Thank you. <laughs> I swear I was touching it. Uh, 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 uh. And then we do this. Goes right into the said boulder. Heck yeah. Treasure chest number two. It's a key. And now, oops, whoops, whoops, whoops. I'm gonna erase that. Drop it down to one. And I should also erase this too, because this is kinda kind of in the way of my map. <laughs> there we go. And oops, oops, not standing on the foots. Not standing on the foots. Ah, I can't touch her. Just poo today. <laughs> Alright, I think since it's been around 17 minutes or so, I think I am going to end off the part here. So I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you when I finish this dungeon.